Cranial nerve 5 is called the trigeminal nerve. There are four functions of this nerve that we can test. Firstly, it controls sensation of the face. Secondly, it innervates the muscles of mastication. Third, it forms the afferent branch of the corneal reflex. And lastly, it's responsible for the jaw jerk reflex. The trigeminal nerve has three divisions, the ophthalmic, the maxillary, and the mandibular. When testing the trigeminal nerve, you first simply observe the patient's face and look for any muscle wasting of the temporalis or the masseter muscles. You then ask the patient to clench their teeth and you feel for the muscle bulk. Can you please clench your teeth for me? And now you ask the patient, please open your mouth and you're looking for any deviation of the jaw towards the side of the lesion due to unopposed action of the opposite lateral pterygoid. This patient's jaw is in the midline. And then you test power by saying to the patient, please keep your jaw open and you push up on the mandible. That will test muscles of mastication. Next, we look at sensation. For this, you will need your wisp of cotton and a neurotip of whichever colour takes your fancy. I'm going for red. I'm just going to touch this neurotip onto your chest and this is what it should feel like. Okay, that wasn't painful. I'd now like you to close your eyes and say yes every time the pin touches your skin. When doing this, you will need to test all three divisions of the trigeminal nerve on both sides. Please keep your eyes closed. Yes. 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 Thank you. Did that feel the same on both sides? Yes. And did it all feel the same as when I touched your chest? Yes. Remember to dispose of your sharps once you've used them. Next, we repeat the same with the cotton wool. Again, I'm going to touch this to your chest. And I'm now going to touch it to your face. Can you please close your eyes again? And say yes when you feel me touch you. Yes. 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 Thank you. When using the cotton wool, it's important that you touch the face and you don't stroke the face. Next, we will do the corneal reflex. Always warn the patient beforehand because this can be uncomfortable. I'd now like to touch that cotton wool just on the side of your eye. It may feel uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be painful. Is that okay? Yeah. Would you mind removing your glasses for me? Uh, if you keep your head facing me, but look over to your left. And the normal response is that the patient should blink. Please look to your right. Okay, thank you. Lastly, we're going to do the jaw jerk. This is normally absent in people, however, can be exaggerated in people with an upper motor neuron lesion, such as a pseudobulbar palsy. For this, you will need your tendon hammer. I'm just going to put my thumb on your jaw. Please relax your jaw. And just strike your thumb firmly. That would conclude the testing of the trigeminal nerve.